The first solid evidence for the Big Bang came from a mysterious source of radiation. What we now know to be the cosmic microwave background or CMB was discovered entirely by accident. At the same time that the theoretical physicists were hypothesizing the existence of this leftover radiation from the Big Bang, a small group of engineers in New Jersey were struggling to understand the origin of some background noise that they were measuring and that was coming from every direction. After a fortuitous conversation between the two groups, they realized that they were seeing the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. In the years that followed, a great leap forward in our understanding was provided by detailed investigation from the ground, balloon and space-based telescopes. In 1989, NASA launched the COBE satellite, followed by the higher resolution WMAP satellite in 2001. The Planck satellite was launched on the 14th of May 2009 from French Guiana. Planck was placed into a distant orbit, a place specifically chosen to balance the gravity of the Earth and Sun. This orbit was essential to carry out precise measurements. The satellite started observations on the 3rd of July 2009. The intensity of the cosmic microwave background photons was measured by Planck in nine frequency bands from 30 to 857 GHz. Therefore, Planck not only measured the total intensity, but also different colors. The CMB is not the only radiation in the sky. By comparing these maps at nine different frequencies, scientists were able to identify different sources of radiation from not only the CMB, but also our own galaxy, distant galaxies and galaxy clusters. Planck measures fluctuations in the CMB which is the microwave hiss of relic radiation left over from the Big Bang. The CMB emerged from the red-hot plasma of the early universe as electrons and protons combined to form transparent hydrogen gas 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Being the first light in a universe that's expanded and cooled, the CMB now appears as a background behind everything at only 2.7 degrees above absolute zero. This captures a snapshot of the temperature of fluctuations which would then go on to form the galaxies and clusters of galaxies we see around us today. It also tells us about the types of matter and energy that make up the universe. About 5% is ordinary baryonic matter, which makes up stars and planets. 26% is dark matter, which only interacts gravitationally. And almost 70% is dark energy, a mysterious force which is pushing the universe apart. The polarization or the orientation of oscillations of the CMB photons can give us more information about the conditions happening well before the release of the CMB, such as gravitational waves generated just after the Big Bang and the ionizing effect of UV photons produced by the first stars. We can also see the effects of electrons spiraling and dust particles spinning in the magnetic field of our own galaxy. Following the incredible scientific and technological successes of Planck, the scientific community is working hard to design the next generation CMB experiments. The European Space Agency core and the Japanese Lightbird instruments are currently being proposed to probe the next frontiers in cosmology and we anticipate exciting new discoveries in the future.